collapsing a road. One woman was killed after getting swept away. New York Governor Kathy Hochul has deployed state police and swift water rescue teams as the heavy rain continued. A lot of heavy rain. I think we had reports of over seven and a half inches. It was like in six hour time frame. That'll lead to a lot of flooding. We got our fair share of some showers, about three inches in some spots over in Bullock and Effingham County earlier. Now we're still seeing some of the darker clouds, scattered showers and isolated storms still possible for the rest of this evening, but dry weather expected in here as we head on through the overnight and below average temperatures now, but we are expecting some much hotter temperatures for the rest of the week. So a lot of lower 80s going through your seven o'clock hour and there's a rain chance 50% through your six o'clock hour. We drop that down slightly to 40% into that 7 to 8 o'clock time frame. Where's the rain now? Well, there it is on our fair and fair first alert live radar. One batch right over I-95 about to move into Garden City into the Port Wentworth area. That's going to head out towards the east, getting to Hardyville by 411, Bluffton 443, at least the southern side of Bluffton, south of 278 it looks like, and then over towards Hilton Head by 5 o'clock. Another little thin line of some showers could potentially see an isolated lightning strike embedded in there from Statesboro to Tomb Central. That's also making its way eastward into Pembroke by 519, Savannah about 648, and Hilton and Island again. Another chance by around that 7 o'clock time frame. So scattered showers, maybe an isolated storm. Nothing severe out there right now. Frontal boundary back to the west of us. That's not really going to move that much. That's going to keep us very muggy and going to keep the uh, rain chance in here tonight. But the front stalls out to our west tomorrow. Lower rain chance is expected as we move into our Tuesday. So we'll get you out the door with a rain chance only at about 10% for your Tuesday morning. A lot of low to mid 70s through your 9 o'clock time frame with that mix of sun and clouds. Not a bad beach day tomorrow. We'll have highs approaching 90 degrees. Good deal of sunshine at Hilton Head and Tybee with a low risk for rip currents. Water temperatures middle 80s and we'll keep a very slight chance for that isolated shower. Much warmer though for the inland areas. We're going to see highs anywhere from about 91 to 92 degrees into uh, Savannah back into the uh, inland areas, especially south of the Altamaha River. And there's a seven day forecast. Again, what we expect to see is the higher uh, temperatures and lower rain chances. So 92 Wednesday, we bump it up to 94 there on Thursday. By Friday, about 95. Couldn't see a few spots getting into 96 degree territory into Hinesville, Baxley, Alma, into Jessup as well. And the humidity is going to be remaining rather high as well. So we can always tell that by what the morning low temps are. You notice how those morning lows jump from the low 70s back to the mid 70s, so a lot more humidity into the air. So we could be seeing some of these feels like temperatures approaching about 110 degrees heading on into our Saturday and Sunday, and that will be getting us close to heat advisory criteria. Right now, we don't have any advisories in effect, but we are going to definitely see the hot temperatures. By the weekend, though, if you have outdoor plans, we do expect to see a little bit better chance for mainly that afternoon shower or thunderstorm as we bump that rain chance you see at 40% continuing right to Monday.